own bubble mixture is really easy. You will need some good quality washing up liquid. You will need some glycerine and you will need some water. Hot water is, is ideal. Now glycerine helps make the bubble stronger um, and obviously the better the quality of your um, washing up liquid, liquid, the better because then you get the better bubbles. It's just one of those things, just invest in it. I'm going to put a litre of hot water in here. Now below I'm going to put all the recipe again and I'm also going to put it in American terms so you don't have to just use um, UK terms. Oh, I'm just under a litre here of hot water. It's not the end of the world. It's not an exact science. Um, so you know it's just, it's, as much as anything it's an approximation. Now again I could put this measure out in my um, measuring jug first but to be honest I don't want to make the measuring jug dirty and washing up liquid is quite thick and runny so I'm going to just put it straight in. What I need is 250 millilitres which is a cup of uh, very washing up liquid. So I'm going to look at my bottle, the bottle says 500 millilitres so basically it means about half a bottle. So I'm going to just put in half a bottle. Now the, thing, the key thing about bubble mixture is that whilst you're making it you don't whiz it up too much so I think that's about half a bottle. So you don't whiz it too much and also that you let it rest. If you let it rest for three or four days, it'll actually be much better. So if you're using these at a party, you want to do these two or three days beforehand. So that's one. And two. I'm going to put four in, but usually between two and four is enough, but I always like to be on the safe side. I tend to put a bit extra. Glycerine you get in the baking section of the supermarket online and like always I should put some information below in the comments and um, you know show that with you. Now give it a gentle stir so that it all mixes up and then let it rest. Then I'm going to show you how to make some, a giant bubble wand. I'm going to take it outside and we're going to have a good old play. There we go. I'm going to let that cool and rest and my kids are going to be so excited. Right, there are two simple ways of making your own giant uh, bubble wands. First one is you need two straws like this um, and a piece of string. Now I'm going to test both ways and tell you which one we think is better. So do keep watching. So this kind of uh, sort of garden twine is great for threading. Put it through the other end, like so. Because what you're trying to create to do a bubble wand is you need a circle of some sort. Anything to keep the tension your bubbles. You've got to now basically decide how big you want your uh, wand to be. It could be this big, it could be that big. You know, so basically choose, I'm going to go sort of medium size and that's your first giant wand ready to get going. So the second method of making a giant wand is you need two long sticks. These are garden bamboo poles, old ones. Um, just for a bit of fun, we've decorated them with a bit of more, we've just done a bit of yarn wrapping, um, and, but you can use sticks from the garden, whatever, you know, little sticks that you find on a walk, it doesn't really matter. And then I've got two pieces of string, one is one metre long, and the other one is one with two metres long. To be honest, it's not an exact science, but you do need a slightly shorter and a slightly longer one. So the um, shorter one, I'm going to knot to the top of my stick. Now the reason you don't attach it to the stick itself is because the stick will otherwise break the circle. For bubble wands, basically you want a circle or, or like a full, you know, it can be a triangle, obviously it doesn't have to be a circle, but what I mean is you need that sort of like a circuit like you do in electricity, it's a nice neat thing. Now take the other end. Outside, I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, connected. Obviously, in here we have a little bit, you know, the surface isn't as big, but what you want is actually, there's a loop. So, between the two sticks. 
sticks. Put your two sticks here. You've got a long piece going over the top, and then when this is apart, and I'll show you when it's outside, you've got a shape that does this, okay? And that is what we need for um, doing the bubble ones. But let's go and have a look outside and see how it works. Okay, we're outside now, and you can see the two bubble wands together. Okay, so you can see that nice loop that goes up and across. And we're going to have a go and see 